internet friends, I'm Ryan. This is Demos in the Dark. Sit back, relax. You know, I make the bulk of my income and certainly spend the bulk of my time right here in this room at this desk uh, doing session work. And so while I love guitar pedals, I love pedals that you know, are designed specifically for your instrument line. Um, when I see things that can have a multi-purpose, it can live another life, whether it's in a bus or something like that, something I can use in my daily studio life, that really piques my curiosity. And so when this here came out, um, I was very interested. This is the hologram chroma console. I mean, look at these knobs. Look at these. I have the same knobs on my DBX 168. These are like the EMT knobs. Like these, this is a dog whistle to studio nerds, and I certainly am. And I have been extremely surprised at just how useful this is. You can use it as an instrument line effect, you can use it in a bus. Uh, you can use it in your daily studio life. So I'm really, really stoked about this. First thing we're gonna do here is we are going to run it down on a mix. And I am going to use this on every single track, one way or another, whether it's plugging directly into it or using it in a bus, this thing will be on every single track. And then come on back here and we'll just like quickly run through how to make sounds with the hologram chroma console. sticking around if you like me are a studio nerd and you spend a lot of time sitting in your dark studio um please don't be a stranger subscribe like comment below i would love to hear your thoughts especially when it comes to something as expansive and amazing as this uh, pedal is yeah this is not like one of those demos where i'm gonna try to hide the fact that i'm super impressed with it i am insanely impressed with it so there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with this in a live setting. It has a looper built in. It is fully MIDI capable. It has presets. So it has a lot of stuff for, for your live uh, rig. But we are going to focus on really just kind of the basics of it today. And that is just making a sound with all of these different modules. And I'm going to go with the guitar. Tonight we are using a Walsh Guitars Yada. I am plugged into a Silk Tone Amp. Silk Tone Amp sounds like this. this is just super cool, is you want to calibrate the pedal to your input source. So when I was using it in the mix bus, 
I was able to calibrate it to take on line level signal. Um, and even if you're you know, using a humbucker guitar versus a single coil guitar, you're gonna wanna calibrate. And it's really easy. You just hold down these buttons here. And then you can pick which one you want, but I tend to like going with uh, a sound sample. And then there, that has calibrated itself for this particular guitar, which is super cool. And again, makes this an incredibly versatile tool. So we turn it on. That sounds amazing. So how did we get there? Well, you basically take each module and uh, you blend in those sounds. It's, um, it's Despite how it looks, it is really, really easy to use. Um, first thing, if you're doing it in an instrument line, you want that mix knob all the way up. Um, you know, Usually, if I'm using it in a bus, I'll have it about halfway or something like that just to add some extra touches. But yeah, definitely for instruments, you wanna go full in. And what you have here is you have this module, which is the character module, and we have a bunch of different options there. And I think what I wanna go with today is actually just kind of a, a lo-fi-y, kind of cleanish sound. So we will go through and pick our character. So first one is drive. <laughs> sounding you see that the knob up here makes it kind of acts as a, a tone knob it got brighter as we went clockwise and darker as we went counterclockwise very cool sound not really what i'm looking for so let's move on to the next one this one is called sweeten <laughs> Is cool. So I, I think what it's doing there is it's adding some compression and some EQ and really makes it sound really good. We might come back to that one. This next one is fuzz. <laughs> but also not really the sound I'm going for. Let's try out how. Very uh, plexy sounding there. That's rad, that's rad. But again, I'm not really looking for a plexi sound right now. Let's try swell.
that's cool. If I was doing some kind of ambient thing, I think that would be a really good place to start. Um, but I'm going to go back to that sweeten. <laughs> I really like that. So let's move on to the next module. We're going to pull this back just a little bit. All right, so the next module is movement. And this is where you're going to find a lot of modulation and things like that. So we're going to start at the top. And that is a doubler. We'll add it in here. That's cool. So I'm changing the rate on the top there. That's great. Super cool. So we'll try the vibrato. You can also tap that in if you want. Now we got ourselves a phaser. Check out the tremolo. So the next one we have is pitch. Okay, that's weird. Uh, let's dial that back a little bit, see if we can get the original note in there. Okay, I see what it's doing. So that would be, this would be an octave up, I'm assuming. And then we would go an octave down. And then, like, everything in between. <laughs> I love it. Um, if I had more time, I'd work out a Thin Lizzy riff to go with that. Um, so that is uh, movement. And, you know, um, I think I'm going to go with vibrato on this one. So I'm really liking yellow so far. Um, now we go into the diffusion. 
And this is where you're gonna get, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say reverb or delay, but it certainly uses both reverb and delay. It's, it's gonna give you some space. The first one is called Cascade. Like that, let's uh, try reels. So that's, you know, that gives you that EP3 slap back echo um we can do all right let's uh move on to space So that's uh that's a big cavernous reverb there. Collage. <laughs> said we were going to stick with the uh with the sweeten on there but i want to hear the fuzz with this sound <laughs> So let's move on to the reverse. I think we're going to leave it there and we will keep the reverse for our diffusion part of it. And then we have the texture. First one we have is a filter. <laughs> Ah, 
so the so the amount knob that's cool let's try squish Let's go to cassette. Yeah, that sounds like a completely destroyed tape. Love it. All right, uh, next one we have here is Broken. And then we have Interference. This one is so cool. I just love this one. out of there i think is probably the cassette but that actually has me kind of changing my mind about some other things um for instance i am gonna go to space on the diffusion of secondary functions and like i said at the beginning we're not really going to go into those but there is one that i think is really stinking cool and i thought it would be fun to take a look at it and what it's called is it's called gestures and so what we can do here when it's in this setting is we can make some knob adjustments And really kind of just go the full spectrum there. And then when we hit these, cool is that like you basically just recorded your knob movements there and you're able to play them back it's like automation in your DAW um and you know if you want to like control the speed of that you can do it through tap tempo if you want that to be a really fast <laughs> capable of so much more stuff than I'm showing you here. And like I said at the beginning, there's stereo in, stereo out, true stereo in, stereo out, so you can put it into a bus, 
you can use it essentially as outboard gear like I did on that track. It sounds amazing. Um, also, like I said at the beginning of this, uh, this is not one of those like opinion free uh, demos that I'm doing. Like this thing is awesome. This thing is so cool. Um, I am so glad to be playing around with it right now because it is just fantastic. So thank you, Hologram, for sending this over for me to check out. As always, thank you for the privilege of your time. Thank you.